In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many. Terror on every side. Denounce. Let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me, the snares of death overtook me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and cried out to my God. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress I called upon the Lord, he heard my voice. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. The Jews pick up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, 
Is it not written in your law? I said, you are gods. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's work, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. My dear friends in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. Do you good things to others and you are not appreciated? How do you feel about it? Or maybe you did your best to help other people. For example, your co-workers or your neighbors. But afterwards, they would not even mind saying, thank you for everything you did. It is disheartening, isn't it, my dear friends? But instead to be sad, we can think of the positive side, like maybe that person is just busy, and the important thing is you were able to help. But what's your main purpose? To help others because you wanted to, and not because you wanted to be appreciated. Jesus did everything that he can to help the people. He preached them to lessons. He cured their sickness. He did miracles for their benefit. But what did the Jews do? They were all angry at him. They want Jesus to die. They let Jesus suffer and nailed him to the cross. But Jesus never feel the hatred towards the Jews. Even before he was persecuted, he continued his mission for our salvation. He never let the treatment of the Jews to stop him to do what God wants him to do. And he still showed them the kindness in his heart. In reality, many people will show us they don't like us. Many people will let you feel you are not loved. But instead of showing them in return that bad treatment they are giving you, why not continue to be a good person? Show them that whether they appreciate you or not, you will be okay. And you are not bothered because after all, it is Jesus who will reward you for the good deeds you show to others. Let us continue to do good to other people, to yourself, to your family, and to those people you encounter in your daily life. Amen. With the same trust Jeremiah had in God's providence, 
Let us bring him our prayers and petitions. For all seminarians and prospective religious, may God bless their efforts of study and discernment. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders of nations, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in the promotion of peace and the resolution of conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who suffer hardships for the sake of the kingdom, may the Holy Spirit grant them the grace of fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in this community, of worship, preparing to receive the Easter sacraments. May the love of Christ embrace them ever more deeply during this time of preparation. Let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, may Christ welcome them to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Let us pray to the Lord. We also include in this Holy Mass for the souls of Mrs. Miki Tamburino, Loretta Celusi, and all the souls in Purgatory. We pray also our frontliners and those who died just because of this pandemic, those who got the virus. We pray also for peace all over the world, peace in our hearts and peace in our homes. We pray also our brothers and sisters who are sick. Let us pray for this speedy recovery. More especially Virgi Torres. And we pray also those who have cancer and those who are dying in this very moment. We pray also for the special intention of Anne Gumitao and also those who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. In a very special way, we pray our brothers and sisters encountering a lot of trials in life, problems, most especially financial problems, psychological problems, family problems. Let us pray for them to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. Father of mercy and love, we praise you along with your servant Jeremiah. We humbly ask you to hear the prayers and petitions we bring before you today. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Prove the earth of work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Prove the bind work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, wash my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God's Almighty Father. For the good and the good of all His church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous powers of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and all the saints, we too give you thanks, and as in exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that for taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners, our deacons, non-seminarians, and those who are helping our parish, Corpus Christi. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family with our humble heart, let us pray all together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, run us peace. My dear friends in Christ, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to His Supper. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on this say that word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. To our brothers and sisters that until now they're not able to attend to our daily masses and they're not able to receive our Lord Jesus Christ for Holy Communion, you just pray reverently the spiritual communion prayer that you can see to the screen of your TV and to your cell phone.
pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass and dead, go and let us pray for one another. Thanks be to God. O Sacrament, Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, Our Father in Heaven, Holy be Your name, Your Kingdom come, Your will be done on earth as it is in Heaven. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and think as it is, look at it for us. O Sacrament, Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, Praise in all thanksgiving in every moment. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 